Hey Wildcats, welcome back to the STEM Lab. So the last time we were here together, we talked about wind. We learned what the wind was and we learned about wind socks, which are tools that help us measure wind. Today I'd like to talk about how the wind can help us have fun. Can you think of any toys that you need wind to play with? Well, the first thing that comes to my mind is a kite. Now kites can come in all different shapes and sizes. You can have little kites or big, huge kites, and they can be the normal diamond shape, or you can have round kites or box kites, or even kites that are shaped like animals. Let's take a look at some really cool kites. Those were really cool. Have you ever flown a kite? Believe it or not, I have never, ever, ever flown a kite. I did buy one for my family a few weeks ago and I wanted to use it for this video, but we haven't had time to try it out, so I guess we're just gonna have to watch other people fly their kites this time. To fly a kite, you need wind. Let's watch what happens when people try to fly a kite and they don't have any wind. Well, that didn't work out for them very well, did it? Yeah, you definitely need wind to fly a kite. So what happens if we fly a kite on a really, really windy day? Well, there are some people who tried just that. Let's see what happens. That didn't work out much better than for the people who tried to fly a kite with no wind, did it? If you have too much wind, the kite is very difficult to control or it doesn't want to stay up in the air or as you saw, it can even be dangerous. So now let's see what happens when people fly kites on a windy but not too windy day.
Well, that was much better. It kind of reminds me of the story Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Your wind can't be too hard or too soft. It needs to be just right. What about other toys that need wind? Well, what about a pinwheel? When a pinwheel is in the wind, it spins around and looks really cool. Let's see. Did you know that you could make your own pinwheels? This is one that I made recently. If I blow on it, it'll spin. I'm gonna show you how you can make your own pinwheel. So to start, you need a piece of paper. This is just regular colored printer paper, which is what I made my purple one out of. If you have a thicker paper, then your pinwheel might even spin better. Other than paper, all you need is some scissors, a straw, a brass fastener, also called a brad, and a pencil. If your pinwheel is too big, it won't blow as well, so we're gonna use half of the sheet of paper. So I'm gonna fold it in half, and then I'll cut it. Okay, now I'm going to Fold the corner in because I need the pinwheel to be a square. So I'm going to fold it in and line it up so that it makes a nice triangle. And then you see what I'm left with is this part right here, which I don't need. So I'm going to cut this off. Now we're left with a triangle when it's folded. And if we unfold it, it's a square. We're gonna fold it back into the triangle and then we're gonna fold this triangle in half. Like this. All right, so I'm gonna unfold it back to how it was, but I wanted to be able to fold it in half so I could see the fold line. So I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut from the tip of the triangle a little more than halfway up the fold line. And then I'm going to open it and fold it the other way and do the same thing. So now we're left with something that looks like this. Now we need to poke some holes and that's what I got the pencil for because it's a quick and easy way to poke holes. So I'm gonna poke one right here not too close to the edge of the paper, but pretty close. Maybe I need a sharper pencil. Nope, there we go. So this one, if I look at this split, it's on the left. So I need to do that on every single one on the left in about the same place. And I need one more hole right here in the center. Now I need to poke a hole in the straw and I forgot to get a sharp tool for that. I'm gonna use a little push pin and poke it through both sides. And I'm just gonna wiggle it a little bit just to make it a little bit bigger. All right, so there's that. Now we're gonna put it all together. So I need to get my little brass fastener and I'm going to put it through one of these corners. I'm gonna fold it in toward the center and then I'm gonna fold the next one in. All right. So now that I have this, I'm going to now poke the brass tack into the 
straw in and out of the hole. Okay, and I'm going to open it up so that it stays secure. I don't want, one thing is you don't want to get it too close to the straw or it won't spin. So let me get this right and I'll come back. All right, I finally got it in and I made sure that it wasn't too close to the straw so that it can move. And there's our pinwheel. Let's try it out. All right, and to demonstrate how our pinwheel works, here is my fourth grader, Danielle. That looked really nice, thank you. All right, I hope you've enjoyed learning even more about wind and ways that we can use the wind for fun. I'll see you next time, bye.